Okay, so this is uh, Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under. I've just come from watching an excellent um, update from Margo on world climate and uh, Arctic ice. Um, this is kind of what it all looks like um, today. Uh, and you can see that once again it's raining uh, in the Arctic as it has been uh, for days. And this is the global view. You can see how much it's how much rain there is. But um, on a day when we've got a terrible um, heat wave uh, in uh, Europe, I mean, it's unbelievable. I can't imagine, begin to imagine how it would be like in the Netherlands reaching 40 degrees Celsius in a country which where most people don't even have air conditioning because they don't need it. So, uh, so this was shocking. It gives, I mean, the temperatures, these are, those are the maximum temperatures in the Arctic. Uh, it's all above zero, uh, except for a small area. But it was when Margot showed this. This really shocked the pants of me. This is the absolute temperatures. These are not uh, temperature anomalies. And that, to me, shows a world on fire. Welcome to the world on fire. Uh, everything in the mid latitudes uh, is in the in the red. Um, yeah, quite honestly, yeah, that's what we're looking at. So I just want to kind of focus back for a few minutes on just a couple of aspects of what's happening in the Arctic, and I would refer you back for a more comprehensive view to uh, Margot's uh, latest report. Ice. Thickness, um, as of today, so you can see uh, how thin the ice is uh, around the pole and the thickest areas of ice are around here. Um, but I just want to concentrate on one particular area, it's this area at the north of Greenland. So let's just have a look how this looked at uh, the um, same date in 2014. I don't have any data like this uh, from the US Navy that goes back as far as 2012, but you can see um, kind of that all the thickest ice is, is in this region, and I'm going to demonstrate that um, soon but in the meantime let's just have a look uh, and I know that Margot has covered this so well um, let's just have a look at this this is ice in the last uh, 30 days and it's a bit of projection there so and yeah So you can see the ice just completely disappearing from this region. To focus for a moment on this area at the top of Greenland because it's uh, very important. Uh, so let's just focus in. This is what the north of Greenland looks like today. So I'm going to focus in. Uh, So that's yeah so that's basically what it looks like today so I just want to make a comparison and I've decided not to use comparison view I just cannot uh, uh, work out how to use it it just creates more problems so I'm going to go back to uh, last year um, yeah that was on uh, July the 27th and it was this view 
this time last year that just sent me into an absolute state of shock. Um, uh, because this was the first time that we saw uh, melting off the coast of, uh, of Greenland. Uh, but if you go back uh, even a year, so some of these, uh, yeah, so you can see it here in 2017 very clearly. Uh, yeah, still pretty, pretty intact. Uh, let's go back. Uh, so that's, uh, that's, uh, let's just see if we can find a clear day. I mean, it's, yeah, so you can see the ice is intact in 2016, uh, 2015, uh, let's just see if we can uh, find anything. Oh yeah, here we are. There's a clear day, 2017, uh, 2016. Uh, I'm not sure if that's cloud, but it looks pretty intact to me. And then, uh, yeah, 2013. Anyway, you're getting you're getting the picture. So it's just sort of uh, focus in a wee bit. Uh, you can see that the ice is starting to be uh, compromised a little bit. And then 2012, which is the point of comparison for us. Uh, so let's just have a look. Yeah, there we are. Oh, no, that's 2013. Why does it go back to there? Uh, anyway, you can get a sense. So um, you compare that with now. So... Uh, every picture tells a tale. Eh? Uh, this is another area that I want to uh, focus in on. Uh, this is Alaska here. This is Eastern Siberia here. There's the Aleutian Islands. And this is the, uh, uh, the Beaufort Sea. So this is what it looked like on the, uh, on the 24th. So well, this won't go in quite so far. Uh, so that's what it looks like. And then let's just go back uh, a year earlier. So that's what it looked like. We'll just go a couple of days, see if we can find a clearer day. No, that's the opposite. Oh, God. Why does it do this? Ah, oh, there we are. Okay, so we'll go back uh, to 2017. Uh, do this. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, so you can get a sense. Uh, there, there's some melting. Um, sixteen. So there's some melting, uh, but of course it's nothing like uh, what we've got here, um, and of course the same in the in, in the bearing. So we'll just go back 2015. So it's all a bit of a mess. Yeah, 2014. Uh, so we'll just take it back to 2012, because um, that's what we have to compare with. So this is the Bering Strait. Uh, seems to be quite a lot of cloud there. So that gets rid of some of the cloud. Um, but 
uh, let's just take it back to 2019. Um, and that's what it looks like. 